Hello loves, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this gel manicure kit called Mini Macaron. I was first attracted to this because of the cute macaron design. It's made to do one fingernail at a time or one toe if you twist it out like this. I like that it's small because it is portable making it easy to travel with. Inside of the package, it came with a box that contained all the items needed for your gel manicure. It came with nail polish, the LED light, nail file, nail stick, and some nail polish removers. So in this box, it has everything you need to complete your gel manicure. The mini macaron runs by plugging it in with the USB cord. It also comes with a little pouch with some essentials for your manicure. The instruction manual and then one nail polish color I purchased it in fairy floss which is a very light pale pink inside the pouch you get a nail file a nail stick to help push back your cuticle and also remove the gel polish and then you get a couple of pouches of the nail polish remover here are the instructions the kit recommends to push back your cuticle with the cuticle stick and then file your nail entirely. After filing the nails, you have to remove the debris by using an acetone or alcohol wipe. After wiping out the debris, you're able to start polishing your nails and using the LED lamp. It also includes instructions on how to remove the gel polish, which I will be going over at the end of this video. The kit comes with a USB cord which needs to be plugged in in order for the LED light to work. I filed my nails as instructed and then I used some alcohol and a cotton pad to remove all the debris and oils from my nails and then I was ready to apply the polish. The polish is an all-in-one so you don't need a base coat nor a top coat. You just need to apply two coats of the polish and cure it with the LED light. So here I am applying my first coat. The consistency of the polish was very thick. You could turn on the LED lamp by pressing the button in the middle and it is perfectly timed for 30 seconds, which is what is needed to cure the gel polish. So I went ahead and did this to every nail. It is very convenient because I just press one button and I don't have to keep track of how long my nail is in it. It automatically turns off when the time is up. So this is how my nails look after one coat. So they're a little bit transparent and you can see a little bit of my nail underneath the polish. The instructions do indicate to do two coats so I went ahead and I applied a second coat on all of my nails. I repeated the same process by pressing the button in the middle and allowing the mini macaron to cure the gel polish. This is after two coats of the polish. So it is pretty opaque. There are some spots that are a little bit transparent, but for the most part, the two coats evenly covered my nails. I did get some of the polish on my cuticle. I did have trouble keeping it on my nail. And this is how it looks. I was pleasantly pleased. It has a glossy finish. It's very shiny. You can twist the LED lamp as such. This is ideal for when you want to paint your toenails. I did want to try it on my fingernails to see if I was able to do more than one nail at a time. So I tried it on one nail first. And then I went ahead and tried on the other two. It did work, but it was a little bit more difficult trying to get both fingernails under the light at the same time. So I recommend just doing one nail at a time. This is a result after three days, so on my left hand, three of the nails started chipping just at the corners, at the ends, but on my right hand, four of my nails started to chip, one of them practically halfway. You can see here the tips were the first to go. So the manicure really only lasted me about three days. I was able to chip off some of them. These are my nail on the fourth day and my pointer finger had completely come off and also one of my pinky. So the manicure really only lasted me about three to four days. 
and it was time to remove them because the majority of the polish had come off. They were a little bit flaky when they came off at first and then the remainder of the polish came off completely. I first tried to remove the polish which is regular nail polish remover and a cotton pad. I scrubbed the nails thoroughly to try to remove the polish but it was not effective. I tried to scrub really hard to see if I could do it with a cotton pad but this is not an effective way of removing this gel polish. So I decided to follow the instruction and use the nail polish remover pouches that came in the kit. The first instruction said to file down the nail polish so I did that on all the nails and I went ahead and applied the pouches to my nails. Inside each pouch there is a pad that is soaked with nail polish remover so I went ahead and I insert my finger with the nail up towards the pad. Towards the top of the pouch there is an adhesive that will help seal the top of the pouch so that the contents does not seep out or fall out. So I went ahead and I folded the pouch inward towards the adhesive. It was a little bit challenging to get it to stick on the first try. So I had to readjust it a couple of times. Then I went ahead and I applied it to all the other nails. It was a lot easier once I had done it that initial time. So I went ahead and I folded the pouch over and I used the adhesive to seal the pouch. I try to make my own nail polish remover pouches by using some cotton pads and soaking it in nail polish and then placing it inside some kitchen aluminum foil. I cut the aluminum foil in smaller pieces and then I went ahead and folded it and wrapped it around my finger. I was able to do this on all of the fingers on my right hand. I wanted to compare it with the pouches that came with the kit. I went ahead and waited 10 to 15 minutes as the instruction said before removing them. And it removed the majority of the nail polish. But it did leave some residue behind and some was still attached to my nail so I had to go ahead and scrub some of the nail polish off with the pad. As you can see some of the nail polish was still left behind especially towards the cuticle. So I had to use the cuticle stick to scrape off some of the nail polish that remained on my nail. So this process did take a while. It took about 25 minutes to remove all of the nail polish. You'd have to scrub and scrape off the remaining nail polish. So I did not like this process. I felt that typical gel polish lasts a little bit longer and the removal process is a little bit easier. This nail polish was very flaky during the removal process. This nail polish did last longer than regular nail polish, but it did not last as long as other gel polishes that I have used. So I was disappointed with the longevity and also the removal process. Fortunately, I could use the LED lamp for other nail polish of my choosing. So I'm gonna go ahead and experiment with other gel polish to find the perfect one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day. Thank you.